Good morning, students, and welcome to your English grammar class. In our today's class, I have come up with a very important topic from your English grammar book. It is lesson number thirteen, conjunctions. So let's start our today's class. But before that, let's read a paragraph for better understanding of the topic. Both Elish Gray and Graham Bell independently invented the telephone. but bell gets the credit as he won the patent for the device bell's application reached the patent office an hour before gray filed for a patent gray's design used a water transmitter whereas bell developed his device to use electromagnetic transmission please note that the words in the color are conjunctions why because they join words group of words or sentences let's now start with the explanation firstly what are conjunctions conjunctions are the words that join two or more words phrases or sentences together for example jhilmil is a sincere student badal is a sincere student too jhilmil and badal are sincere students jhilmil reads only mysteries badal is fond of historical fiction jhilmil reads only mysteries while badal is fond of historical fiction so students as we can see in these two examples we have joined two sentences with the word and in the first sentence and with the word while in the second sentence we join two or more phrases with the help of the conjunctions for example my doctor can choose to measure my height my weight or check my temperature we also join two or more sentences with conjunctions for example eric wants to play basketball annie wants to play soccer we can write the sentence as eric wants to play basketball but annie wants to play soccer Let's now read about the types of conjunctions. There are basically three types of conjunctions: the coordinating conjunctions, the subordinating conjunctions, and the correlative conjunctions. You can see the examples over here. Let's now read about the coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are the conjunctions that join sentence elements that are same. We can memorize or remember them with the acronym Pan Boys, where F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor. B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, S stands for so. Let's now read a few examples of the coordinating conjunctions. Most of the visitors were happy just sitting around in the shade, for it had been a long dusty trip on the train. Sally is intelligent. and her younger sister is beautiful that is neither what i said nor what i meant our dad checked the grill but forgot to check the oven beethoven can play the piano or compose music in his free time i know how to play twinkle twinkle little star on piano yet i don't know how to play other songs last it was snowing outside so we stayed indoors let's now read about the subordinating conjunctions the subordinating conjunctions join the unequals they, that is they join something of lesser importance to something of greater importance the examples of the subordinating conjunctions can be if as since when and because etc 
Let's now use them in the sentences for your better understanding. I will go to Africa when I have the money for the trip. When I have the money for the trip, I will go to Africa. Students, the subordinating conjunctions are divided into various categories. Some subordinating conjunctions describe the comparison. They are than, rather than, whether, as much as, whereas. These describe about the comparison. Now let's move on to the subordinate conjunctions describing the time. They are after, as soon as, until, whenever, now that. Next comes concession. In a daily speech, we can use these conjunctions too. They are though, although, even though. Next are the subordinating conjunctions describing relative pronouns. They are who, whoever, whom, whomever or whose. Then comes the subordinating conjunctions that describe the reason. They are because, since, so that, in order to, as. After that comes the subordinating conjunctions describing the condition. They are if, only if, unless, provided that, assuming that. Some subordinating conjunctions indicate the places such as where, wherever. Some subordinating conjunctions also describe about the relative adjectives. They are that, whatever which, whichever. Lastly, some subordinating conjunctions describe the manner such as how, as though, as if. So students, these are the subordinating conjunctions. Let's see a few example sentences. I am staying in because it's snowing. I meet Sarah whenever I am in Mumbai. Even if the sky is falling down, you'll be my only best friend. Did she say anything before she left? They will not pass the exams unless they work hard. If you find out, please let me know. Let's now read about the correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are the conjunctions that come in pairs. Let's see a few examples. Not only, but also. Either, or. Neither, nor. Both, and. Whether, or. Let's now see a few examples of the correlating conjunctions and their example sentences. Both, and. The company deals in both hardware and software. Either, or. I will eat either carrots or peas for dinner. Neither nor Neha likes neither milk nor ice cream. Whether or do you care whether we have noodles or rice for dinner? Not only but also he not only studies hard but also works well. Such that it's such a tiny kitchen that I don't have to do much to keep it clean. Scarcely when. Scarcely had she entered the room when the phone rang. No sooner than. No sooner did he enter the room than he saw a snake. Let's now quickly go through some other conjunctions and their usage. Although, although he's very famous, he's still nice. Either, I'm sorry, Peter is ill and I can't come either. Even, she likes swimming even in winter. Even if, don't drink alcohol even if you drive carefully. How, do you know how to ride a snowboard? If, if they were older, they could go to the party. In case, Take your mobile with you in case you miss the bus. In spite of, 
he looks very fit in spite of his age otherwise look at the map please otherwise you'll get lost since since he lost his money he couldn't go to the restaurant unless her baby cannot fall asleep unless she stays in the room what i don't know what to say when when you are in london write an email to me whether i am going home whether you like it or not i hope you've all understood the topic we will meet in our next class till then take care stay home stay safe